Greetings to our viewers all around the world and a very warm welcome to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Hello everybody, I'm Arturo Weiss, joined by Jonathan Elliott and Larry Grace, providing continuing coverage of the Fort Lauderdale Air and Sea Show. And guys, talking about warm welcomes, it's certainly a very warm day here in Florida, but what a spectacular point of view we have here to watch. In my opinion, one of the best air shows in the country. Uh, Jonathan, what have you seen here so far? What can the viewers expect to see here on Airside TV? Well, at the start of the day, we've got a, like a, a, an invasion uh, demonstration where the uh, Navy have got a couple of landing craft and we've got some helicopters out there uh, deploying troops into the sea, etc. So uh, we've got some uh, action from the sea and then uh, following on from that, the, the air show starts about midday. All sorts of stuff. Um, we've got the Blue Angels. We've got uh, a couple of Raptors flying. Uh, we've got um, all sorts of stuff. You know, Larry, you've been to a lot of air shows around the country. This is sort of unique, isn't it, when you can talk about some of the shows that we visit? Well, this is a unique show site because basically all the performers are based off-site versus on-site. We have this beautiful beach, a four-mile-long stretch of beach, so all the performers will come through uh, using the, the beach line. And if, we'll get a shot for you later. We'll show you where show center is out where all the boats are along that way. But this makes it a very unique platform where it's uh, sun and fun. That's the best way to put it. Yeah, you certainly get a lot of sun and fun out here. As you mentioned, there's a combination of not only the the aerial uh, displays, but we have some of the, uh, the, the uh, some, some of the maritime type displays as well. There's also an invasion on the beach. What's all, all that about? A bit more about that is basically what you're seeing is a uh, mock invasion. The United States Marines come through with their landing craft. What you'll see is the uh, the Hueys, the Sea Cobra. You'll also see the uh, Harriers flying over to uh, provide ground support. You have uh, two C-46 uh, helicopters coming in to drop off troops. And then they just come right up on shore, which we'll be privy to see right in front of our cameras. And you'll see an actual invasion onto the beach, how they would take the beach. And uh, Jonathan, you've been to a lot of shows. Obviously, you covered a lot of shows overseas for us. You used to seeing a lot of different aerial demonstration teams out there. We're, this show is sort of special in the sense that we have the Blue Angels and the Canadian team. Can you talk about some of the differences you saw between both acts and some of the similarities as well? Um, well, the, um, we've, we've got the, the Blue Angels uh, display, which is uh, one of the best uh, displays that um, I've seen from a formation team. And uh, I mean, back home we've got the uh, we've got the Red Arrows. Um, I've seen the Thunderbirds a few times, but the Blue Angels perform quite a, a, a tight show. It looks great. They come straight over our head, straight over uh, straight over over the sea there, over the coastline. And we've got the uh, the Snowbirds here as well. Uh, that's a team that's the first time I've seen them. They've got, I think it's nine aircraft, and uh, they perform a real tight, uh, a tight close show, which our viewers will enjoy. Um, going back a couple of days ago, we were at Opalaka, um, where the, um, a few of the uh, demonstrators here today were uh, are stationed during the show, so we got to uh, walk around some of the aircraft. And, uh, for instance, the Viper East team uh, are based there, and they're of two F-16 aircraft. We got to talk to Major, uh, Major Coltis, and... Uh, We've got the interview coming up shortly on Airside TV, so there's a lot of great stuff coming up. Sure is, and also in addition, obviously, to watching all the coverage here on AirsideTV.com, we certainly want to talk about some of the still photography that's available on what site, sir? Well, you can take a look and find some fantastic still photography at uh, FenceCheck.com. Uh, also, you can visit my site, LarryGrace.com, and I also have a link to both FenceCheck and Airside TV. But if you want to see some great aviation coverage from around the world of aviation photographers, whether you're amateur, professional, or just the love of photography, you want to check out FenceCheck.com. We invite you to do so, and of course, stick here on airsidetv.com. We've got a lot to cover here at the Fort Lauderdale Air and Sea Show, and of course, we have a lot of previous air show coverage you can look at on airsidetv.com. Uh, John, some Jonathan's coverage from uh, AIAT and Fairford and so forth. So thanks for joining us today. We're sure you're going to enjoy some of the coverage right here from beautiful Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We'll see you right here on airsidetv.com.
flyby coming. 